Jasper. Your orders were to go out and scare people. If you please, sir, I don't like to scare people. I want to be friendly. Friendly? That's insubordination. You're guilty of conduct unbecoming a ghost. I'm stripping you of your wings. And here's your dishonorable discharge. <laughs> give you the ghost of the town, Casper. Friendly ghost. If this keeps up, people will never be afraid of us. I've got an idea. Let's pull a scare attack on the television studio. Yeah, yeah. That'll fix Casper. <laughs> little fellow. I'm Casper, the friendly ghost. Someday the dean will see I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> 
Right in what, Professor? That there really is a man in the moon. Of course there is. I could help you meet the man in the moon. Hey, you could? I'd fly you there to meet him, but I'm afraid you're a bit too heavy for me. Well, I, I was planning to fly there myself anyway. Really, Professor? How? Come, I'll show you. Golly, a rocket ship. What's holding you back, Professor? My rockets just don't have sufficient horsepower to get me there. Horsepower? Wait right here, Professor. I'll be right back. Here's your horsepower, Professor. Meet Nightmare, my horse. A, a ghost horse? OK, Nightmare, rockets away! What was that? I'll take a look. Why, hello, little star. What happened? I was falling. Luckily, I landed on this strange thing. This is a rocket from Earth bound for the moon. Gee, you saved me from hitting Earth. You see, us stars try not to land, but sometimes we just get tired. Come inside and rest a while. Professor, this is a little star who got tired and was falling from the sky. Oh, poor fellow must be hungry. Here, try some milk and cheese. Thank you, but we've plenty of that up here with the Milky Way. Then how about something strictly from Earth like uh, bubblegum? Golly, an Earth-made balloon. Say, that's just what you'll need when you're tired. Just hang from your own balloon. Professor, you're a star saver. Hmm, moonbeams. We're in the vicinity of the moon. I'm going to check Nightmare. Nightmare, how about landing on that moonbeam? I have an idea that will make the professor very happy. What's up? Professor, this moonbeam leads right to the moon. I'm sure your rockets have the power for the short trip. How wonderful. I can now zoom to the moon on my own power. Professor, are you all right? Uh, I'm okay, thanks to this swamp I landed in. <laughs> That's no swamp, Professor. That's the green cheese of the moon. Well, Casper, where can we find the man in the moon? See, there he is, painting up for the half moon period. Excuse me, Casper, but I just can't wait to meet him. Boy, oh boy, am I glad to meet you. Oops, oh, oh, a Martian. Wait, wait, I'm a creature from Earth. No, oh, yikes, oh, that's even worse. But, but, but I'm a friend of Casper, the friendly ghost. <laughs> Why didn't you say so the first time? <laughs> well, any friend of theirs is a friend of mine. Now that I've met you, Mr. Man on the Moon, I can't wait to get back to Earth and tell my dean. <laughs> oh, you better leave immediately. Quick, Casper, take him back, take him back. He's already starting to moon. Oh, golly, now he's moony. What do we do? <laughs> I think it's too late, it's too late. He's moonstruck. <laughs> there he goes, banging the like a dog. He's heading for the edge of the moon. Oh, I hope he has sense enough not to jump off. Go! He jumped off! Oh, I told you he was moonstruck. Come on, Nightmare. We've got to save him. There he goes, Nightmare. Where am I? What happened? You fell off the moon, Professor. And lucky for you, right into the Milky Way. But how do I get down to Earth from here? Say, Professor, have you any more bubble gum? Uh, yes, I do. Why? Remember the fallen stars? I get it. I'll chew a whole package. Fine, Professor. I'll guide you back to Earth. Easy does it. OK, Professor, we made it. Now I must rush to the Dean. I wonder what the Dean will say. Uh, once and for all, Professor, to prove to you there is no man on the moon, let's go to the observatory and look through the telescope. Agreed. A <laughs> man on the moon, imagine that. He believes me. I wonder what convinced him. <laughs> Professor, come back soon. And don't forget Casper and Nightmare, Man in the Moon. I might 
to meet a new friend. <laughs> huh? A baby ghost. Oh, a ghost! Wait a minute. You're a ghost yourself. Why are you running away? Hmm. That's right, isn't it? I'm Casper, the friendly ghost. Can I help you? Oh, Casper, I'm lost. <laughs> Tell me where you're from, I'll take you home. But I don't know where I'm from. <laughs> Listen, what's your name? Maybe that will give me a clue. My name? Hmm. Clarence? No. Reginald? No. Think hard. Oscar? No. Sally? Sally is a girl's name. Tom? Dick? Harry? I give up. Well, let's see. I'll, I'll have to call you something. Something. That's a dandy name. No, 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 you don't understand. Something. Boy, what a name. Oh, well, maybe something will do. Come on, something. We've got to find your home. <laughs> now what's wrong? I don't want to go to my home. I want to go to your home. <laughs> OK, I'll take you home with me for the night. Let's hurry. I'm afraid of the dark. But you're a ghost. But I'm just a baby ghost, and I haven't learned any ghostly ways yet. Well, I can teach you. Oh, boy. Can you teach me to fly? OK. A lot depends on the takeoff. Whee! I can fly! Now, Casper, will you teach me how to become invisible? Sure. It's easy. All you have to do is... Gee, is that all there is to it? Sure, try it. Well, here goes, Casper. Whee! It worked! I'm invisible! Now come on home, and tomorrow I'll teach you some other things. Goody! I keep hearing noises. This place must be haunted. Don't be scared. It's only something crying. I know it's something, but what? Just a minute, I'll show you. Stop crying, and I'll tell you how to become visible again. Now, you... Thanks, Casper. Here I am! Look, a baby ghost. His name is something, and he's lost. Great. We'll keep him. And help him grow up to be a big, bad ghost. Boy, that'll be fun. My friend Casper's teaching me how to be a big, bad ghost. No, you've got it wrong, something. I'm teaching you ghostly ways so that you can be helpful to others. Fully! Splendid! I can't wait to take him on a scare raid. Can you fly? Sure, Casper taught me. Wow, he's gonna grow up to be just like us. Hey, he went right to the roof. Oh boy, I'm gonna have some fun. <gasps> <sighs> <laughs> Drat that pesky kid. <laughs> Don't they look funny? They're awfully mad at you. No, we're not. Huh? He suits us fine. Yeah, shows he'll grow up like us. But I want something to be our friendly ghost. Bah, one friendly ghost around a house is enough. What else can you do, something? I can disappear, like this. See? Splendid. At any rate, Caspi, you're a good teacher. I like helping others. Come on, something, show yourself. I'll show them. Up to Daisy. Hey! What happened? Something. It's you. Who'd you expect? Mother Goose? That does it. Wait, he didn't mean any harm. I'll do some harm when I get my hands on him. Goody, they want to play tag. Please, stop. Which way did he go? This away. No, that away. Something. Drop that stick. Oh, all right. <laughs> Look, he's sorry for what he's done, aren't you? Oh, sure. But not much. This boy has got to go. He's too bad, even for us. Don't worry, something. I'll stay around until you're found. Something. My little baby, I've found you. Mama! 
what do you know? Something really is his name. Are you all right, baby? Sure. Casper took care of me. When I grow up, I want to be friendly, just like him. Now, isn't that something? Attention all ghosts. Attention all ghosts. Prepare for Operation Scare. Power to planes. Begin takeoffs. Casper, your orders were to go out and scare people. If you please, sir, I don't like to scare people. I want to be friendly. Friendly? That's insubordination. You're guilty of conduct on becoming a ghost. I'm stripping you of your wings. And here's your dishonorable discharge. Golly, now I can go and make lots of friends. looking fella. Hello, mister. My name is Casper. Ah! 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 Gosh. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Gentlemen, I now give you the ghost of the town, Casper. Friendly ghost. If this keeps up, people will never be afraid of us. I've got an idea. Let's pull a scare attack on the television studio. Yeah, yeah. That'll fix Casper. <laughs>
Casper, as mayor of this great metropolis, I am honored to present you with the key to the city. Thank you, sir. A skeleton key. <laughs> Exactly what he did. Huh? We'll exercise. We'll become powerful ourselves. Excuse me, powerhouse. While I go and see what the ghostly trio are up to, I'll be right back. Touch the ground without bending your knees, fatso. Oh, I don't see what difference it makes. Now for some weightlifting. Grab some logs. What? When we're all tired out from calisthenics? We've got to get as powerful as Casper. All right, all right. Hey, fellas, look. I can lift this big log real easy. I've become strong. Why, it's just a hollow, dried-out old log. Wise guy. <laughs> Casper, you're back to your normal, miserable size again. Oh, well, you see, I I've learned to reduce or grow at will. But I'm still very powerful, so don't get funny with me. Yeah? Well, grow powerful right now. Uh, uh, uh first I have to get a running start. Oh, we think you're kidding us. Oh, no, I I'm not. Let me take care of this. Convinced? Oh, uh, we're convinced. Well, Casper, it was nice visiting with you, but I've got to be leaving now. Golly, so soon. I'm sure glad you came, Powerhouse. You keep exercising, and you'll really get big and strong. I sure will. Goodbye, Cousin Powerhouse. So long, Casper. Uh-oh. Fatso's been listening. He must know how we fooled him. Wait till the guys hear this. Where you been, you loafer? We've been exercising like crazy. Well, let's throw him in the lake. Wait, let me explain. Casper's a fake. What did you say? Casper had a powerful cousin visiting him. So, Dad said. Are you sure, Fatso? I saw both of them. Then that powerful guy took off and left. Left, huh? <laughs> then that leaves Casper to us. <laughs> to think of something to make them think I can grow big. 
But what can I do? That's it. My paints. I'll have to hurry. They'll be coming home soon, and they'll be real mad. Now that we're mad enough, we'll scare the living daylights out of that Casper. Oh, oh, I hear them coming. I hope my scheme works. Now, he's bigger than ever. I sure am. Would you like to make something of it? <laughs> uh, please don't hurt us, Casper. <laughs> we didn't mean nothing. <laughs> they thought I was standing in front of the real house instead of this cut-out painting I made. And to top it off, the exercising I did really developed a muscle. Gee, this game of leapfrog is lots of fun. It's high time Casper grew up and started to act like a real ghost. Those witches said their brew would take effect immediately. So long, pal. I'll see you tomorrow. Hurry up and mix that brew in Casper's milk. He's coming. Look, it worked. He's a monster. Quiet. He mustn't know we did it. My Casper, how you've grown. I, I just don't know what happened. Casper, at last you're a man like us. Think of what he could do on a scan rank. Casper? How about a sample of your vocal strength? Or perhaps a little boo? If you don't mind, I'll give out with a small hello. Hello! Before he plays the house down. Well, at least the roof is still standing. Golly, I wonder what happened to Casper. He's holding up the roof. I'm sorry. I didn't realize what I could do. Either he joins us in our scare raid, or out he goes. Let's not get him violent, or he'll throw us out. Oh, well, where are you going, Casper? To look for a friend. Haven't you outgrown that? You can never outgrow friendship. Say, that sure is a fine-looking snowman. He should be. It took us three days to build him. Say, you're a... Uh, uh, now, wait, don't be frightened. <laughs> Gosh, this is terrible. Even the children run from me. There's Wendy, the poor little witch girl. Big or small, she'll always be my friend. But the shock of seeing me this big might frighten her. I've got it. I'll let her see me in easy stages. Hello, Wendy. Who said that? Down here. It's me, Casper. But I did this so you wouldn't be frightened. Now stop acting like a silly boy. Go up, Casper. Okay, Wendy, but now, just what do you mean by not wanting to scare me? Go outside. 
Oh, okay, Casper. As a starter, give us a boo. Teach them a good lesson. I think we created a monster. Now I'll practice a screech. Oh, wait, Casper, wait. <gasps> Let's get out of here before he shatters our sheets. <laughs> Wait, Casper, wait! Please, Casper, no more boos and screeches. We have a confession to make. The witches gave us this brew which made you big. I'm beginning to like being big, thanks to you and the witches. Tell the witches to give you an antidote. We don't like you big. It's too shocking. Okay, Wendy, here goes the antidote. I really don't need any magic to make me big, Wendy. When I'm with you, I always feel ten feet tall. <laughs>